Hey, this is Red Vegemite, and we are continuing our playthrough as Prince Gastuba on the Isle of Birds. And, uh, nothing has really happened. I guess, can we... We're still... Okay, cr recent carousing just disappeared. Let's do this again. Send an insult to my Lord Treasurer. I do not want to do such a thing. My council, how long? Eight months? Okay. My sister apparently had a lot of money or is in deep debt right now. And we almost have enough to build a small castle town. And our vassal, you don't want to go. Okay. One. Sister still does not want to come hang out with me. Zalimo Tomburu offers to teach you a game called Sivas that he learned from some merchants at the end. He spends too much time with foreigners, he should know better. I'd be delighted to test my wits in this game. I'll go to the inn and study the ga this game in secret. But satisfied. He likes us enough. Let's, let's be secretive about this. You watched the merchants playing in the common room at the inn. Things were going well until one accused the other of cheating. A fight broke out and you barely managed to escape with your life in dignity. And then I also lost to him. But did I become wounded? No. Your guests have arrived for the private feast. You have arranged it is time to begin the carousing and the merriment. Alright. While the cups are being refilled, Quasdo brings out a strange board with little decorated pieces, explaining it's a grand strategy game. We will play... Hmm. For Anna. Eventually, however, you made a fatal mistake that you and you lost the game. Dang. But we have enough money to upgrade our castle to a castle town. Time to get back to the real life. The gods are unlikely to approve. Church opinion minus five. Increased fertility. My diplomacy is so bad. My entry is also so bad. But let's let's just do this because I want to try and trigger that as soon as possible. Adopt the lifestyle. Boom. Fall in love. Improve combat ability. See the realm prosper. Let's try and become a better fighter so we can get some more troops. Can we change this yet? No. 8304 is not for another two years. So we go back to the old waiting game. arrived at my court okay can shut the gates what do I have gray plague wow that's not a good thing I believe if I remember correctly uh, I can't hold a feast increase prosperity Show blood fields. Can't do that. Let's 
just go. Oh, I've got diarrhea. Maybe getting Great Plague already, so, oh well. Avoid spices and fatty foods to treat my diarrhea. Okay, minus symptom treatment. Seems like wise advice. Um, because of this, he has uh, gone and sec secluded himself. I think many will. Got a headache. Barely keep my eyes open. I got the keys. Therefore, I've been fed. Get some more piety. But the priest preached around about temperance. Already lustful and envious. But let's try and be good, cause. I just wanna, I just wanna conquer these islands. Your mind is clouded, dull gray rash is spreading across your body. You feel hot, your joints ache, and your flesh is turning to stone. You've con contracted gray plague. Oh man, I'm gonna die soon. Explains there are several different types of treatment he can offer. Go crazy with us. The powder was yellow and had a delicious scent. You were distraught to see Quasdo mix it with brimstone and sprinkle it over the still tepid gallbladder of a beaver. The animal had been found rabid, frothing from the mouth, exhibiting clear signs of the illness. We fight evil with evil, master. Oh, horrible mistreatment. Should have never trusted him. Your friend Rudo has died and now it falls you to decide whether to make the funeral big and special event or just keep it a small and private one. We'll keep it small. We'll actually shut the gates now. But we're probably gonna die. Minus seven. Minus seven health. How? I don't, I don't see how we could survive. Yep, what do we want to do? Let's try and go get drunk. I will never find another friend like you. Oh no. Can find no escape from the all consuming sorrow. I am now drunk as well. How am I still alive? Your Lord Treasurer Machia wants to talk about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is that they should be maintained better now that times are rough. You never know when you'll have to get out and quickly. Yeah, why not? Seems just... Let's give her a map. Alright, and my aunt will... Do you have the Great Plague? No. But your diplomacy is even worse. Oh man. Become a counselor. Well, that's a stupid ambition. Chief General, Lord Treasurer, my heir, Priest, let's see, let's go up to Saint Shao. and no one is decent. Minus seven isn't too bad. Your nephew, Prince Gatuba Tomburu, has died now. Falls on you to decide. Um, small private funeral has triggered unrest throughout the realm. Challenges Tomburu rule are emerging, with many peasants and other bandits and outlaws causing trouble. My rule must stabilize. For five years, we have this. Hi, Lord, have five children, have a son, fall in love, become a paragon of virtue. Can desire to expand the Isle of Birds by conquest. If procedure is enough, he may call a council of vassals to try and win support for this. 
Okay, I wonder how many people I need for that. Let's adopt the lifestyle first and then proceed to try and expand my conquer. Even though I have voice diplomacy, everybody likes me more than the old one. But we will go ahead and invite everyone to come carousing with us. Special. Oh, wait, our wife? Yeah. Invite, invite, invite. Okay. Castle Town has been built. Of course I'll come peace with you. Good. And married heir. Council is discontent. Let's see. Factions. No factions. Can't join me. Will be fun. Will be fun. Can't join me. This vassal. Oh. My wife doesn't want to come. Classic wife. I hate you. You want to become wise in the way of curious and fussy. Has declared a peasant result for the Isle of Birds. Blast the traitors. Wow, that is more troops than I have. Let's do it. Oh. Instantly got defeated. This is not good. I think we might, uh, we might lose this war right now. Cause there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Can't hire anybody. Gain 50 gold. Well, we're just going to see what happens. Chief Architect, Chief Commander, you can't have babies. Has declared Morga slave raid on the Isle of Birds and pins Zelmo on the Isle Oh no. Well, at least these peasants can't really do anything more. But this is just not good for us. What can we do? Nothing. We are actually getting some back of our army levy. Extremely slowly. Yes. Go, go look at the old tunnels again. My liege, Machia catches up with you as you are strolling down the main hall. She looks concerned as you order her to spit out whatever news she is. Um, the tunnels, my lord, she breathes and continues to tell you that it seems somebody has been using them. Guards have stumbled upon tools and torches recently used by the looks of it. Ooh. Let's, let's, uh, place an ambush. 
so in the tunnels, however, that person does not seem to be completely stable. Your gods' faces are not showing the usual bloodthirst when they present Dubaya the Troubadour, a starved looking and oddly jumpy person. It'd almost be a mercy to execute her, you say. What does she have to say? You approach the locked door warily. Inside, Dubaya is talking quietly to herself. The gods tell you that she claims to have had a lover at court. They were on the way back into the castle when her beloved fell ill. Devastated from the loss, she remained in the tunnel. She doesn't seem all there, my lord. Hmm. Whatever disease took the love of Dubaya has obviously left her immune. The somewhat jittery Dubaya joins your court. Okay, let's do it. Let's have this crazy lunatic. He is a poet. You're absent mindedly flipping through a book after another long day when there is a light tap on your door. Before you can get up, the door is open and Dubai enters. She si sli silently crosses the room, slowly unbuttoning her nightdress. Her intentions are plain as day in her smoldering eyes. Oh my goodness. Well, why not? We rescued her from the tunnels and now she's probably going to try and kill us in our sleep. A son was born to my chief general and my niece, Jara Mogo. Good. And he died. Dang. <laughs> Come, attackers. Life in seclusion isn't so bad. After finishing a hearty breakfast, you belt contentedly and remark upon your foresight in this ensuring aisle of birds' landers were well stocked. Oh, but we're running out of bulwark heads. Oh no. But the epidemic has left us, so. Let's open the gates. Okay. You have searched our birds from top to bottom and have come to realize there really are okay. Tough times ahead, but I opened the gate. The ordeal is finally behind you. Okay, good. Train troops. Let's, uh, start scheming, give charity, yeah, after all the charity I gave, all my predecessor gave, we still want to bug on me. My wife is pregnant. Yay. Am I sp do I still have recent? I do not. But I guess no one wants to go. Oh, because I'm at war. Unfortunate. You have spent some time immersed in tomes describing the various cultures surrounding your realm. Though some of what you learn seems suspect, you have still obtained a better understanding in how to approach foreigners. Your diplomatic ability has improved as a result. If only everyone was a summer islander. And we have died. And <laughs> if 
we now die, we shall play as our former niece. Chief General, Lord Treasurer. Wow, well, people do not like you. Machia. Um, for our vassal. Form charity, buy network, collect taxes, train troops, fabricate claims. And keep doing what you're doing. Can I award any more honorary titles? Don't think so. Bodyguard. You are my bodyguard. Commander. You're also a commander. While we're at war, let's go ahead and just get the war focused. Cancel with discontent. No one wants to marry us, apparently. But uh, we'll call it there, and hopefully things will start to turn around in the future.